This is the Music History Today podcast for June 17th. On today's show, there are debuts from Katy Perry, Sam Smith, and Steve Winwood, and it's the beginning of the end for Led Zeppelin. First up, though, on this date in 1943, Perry Como began his singing career by signing to RCA Records. In 1954, the Record Mirror Music newspaper started its publication. In 1964, Jay and the Americans recorded the song Come a Little Closer, and on that same day, the Elvis Presley and Ann Margaret movie Viva Las Vegas premiered. In 1965, the Beatles recorded their song, Yesterday. Also on that same exact day, the Kinks came to America to begin their first American tour. In 1966, Peter Green joined John Mayle and the Blues Breakers. In 1967, Barbara Streisand performed in Central Park in New York City. The concert would later be turned into a TV special and an album. Also on that same exact day, Liberty Records ran the ad for talent, which led to songwriting partners Elton John and Bernie Taupin's meeting. Also in 1967, Otis Redding headlined the Monterey Pop Festival. In 1970, Led Zeppelin started their last tour of Europe. In 1972, Ron Pigpen McKernan played with the Grateful Dead for the final time as he left the group due to health issues. In 1973, Dolly Parton recorded the original version of the song, I Will Always Love You. In 1977, Judas Priest performed in America for the first time. In 1980, Led Zeppelin started what became their final tour. In 1981, Roger Waters played with Pink Floyd for the last time. In 1983, Glenn Frey married artist Janie Beggs. Also in 1983, the Glastonbury Music Festival in England got underway with UB40 and Curtis Mayfield headlining that year. In 1988, Bruce Springsteen and his wife, actress Julianne Phillips, separated. In 1994, Aerosmith cut Megadeth as their opening act after Megadeth frontman Dave Mustaine complained that Aerosmith should have been opening up for Megadeth, not the other way around. In 2000, Kevin Richardson of the Backstreet Boys married Kristen Willits. In 2016, Tom DeLonge of Blink-182 said in an interview that the reason why he originally left the group was because he wanted to investigate UFOs. Yep, that happened. In theater, in 1979, the musical Sareva closed on Broadway. In 1995, the Broadway musical Tommy by The Who closed. And in 2019, the musical A Strange Loop opened off-Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on June 17th, in 2009, Taylor Swift was among the big winners at the Country Music Television Awards. Albums that were released on June 17th include in 1961 when Elvis Presley released Something for Everybody. In 1969, Elvis Presley released From Elvis in Memphis. In 1972, The Eagles released their self-titled album. In 1976, LaBelle released Chameleon. In 1977, Crosby, Stills, and Nash released CSN. In 1978, David Gilmour released his self-titled album. In 1985, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, or OMD if you prefer, released Crush. In 1987, The Replacements released Please to Meet Me, and Natalie Cole released Everlasting. In 1991, Foreigner released Unusual Heat and Van Halen released for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. In 1994, Ghost released Temple Stone. In 1997, 38 Special released Resolution, Blink-182 released Dude Ranch, Megadeth released Cryptic Writings, The 10,000 Maniacs released Love Among the Ruins, and Neil Young and Crazy Horse released The Year of the Horse. In 2002, Peter Gabriel released the soundtrack to Long Walk Home. In 2003, Sam Cooke released Portrait of a Legend, 1951 to 1964. Finger Eleven released their self-titled album. Brian Adams released Live at the Budokan. And Steve Winwood released About Time. In 2008, Katy Perry released her album One of the Boys. 
Also in 2008, Judas Priest released Nostradamus, and Rick Springfield released Playlist, the very best of Rick Springfield. In 2011, Bon Iver released Bon Iver, Bon Iver. In 2013, Bob Dylan released A Long Time A Growin', Volumes 1 through 5. In 2014, David Gray released Mutineers, and in 2016, the Red Hot Chili Peppers released The Getaway. Singles that were released on June 17th include in 1964 when the Supremes released their classic Where Did Our Love Go? In 1969, Elvis Presley released Clean Up Your Own Backyard. In 1970, Junior Walker and the All-Stars released Do You See My Love? In 1971, The Who released Won't Get Fooled Again. In 1976, Blondie released Ex Offender. In 1978, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released I Need to Know. In 1985, Huey Lewis and the News released The Power of Love. And Brian Adams released Summer of 69, two classic 80s songs. In 1991, Brian Adams released Everything I Do, I Do It For You from the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves soundtrack. In 1997, Sugar Ray released Fly and Third Eye Blind released Semi-Charmed Life, two popular 90s songs, actually. In 2008, Miley Cyrus released Seven Things. In 2013, Avicii released his classic Wake Me Up. And in 2014, Madison Beer released Unbreakable. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 17th include band leader Sam Wooding, band leader Tom King, bassist Chuck Rainey of Steely Dan, clarinetist Benny Kruger, clarinetist Gene Cedric, clarinetist Tony Scott, Cliff Gallup of Gene Vincent's backup band, Composer Gene DePaul, composer George Handy, composer George S. Clinton, composer extraordinaire Mr. Igor Stravinsky, composer John Stanley, country music singer Steve Earle, drummer Chris Columbus, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Eartha Kitt, French horn player Tom Varner, Greg Rowley of Journey, guitarist Chris Spedding, Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedys, John Crawford of Berlin, Mr. Kid Rock, Michael Monroe of Hanoi Rocks, Mick Taylor of the Rolling Stones, percussionist Paul Young of Sad Cafe and also of the group Mike and the Mechanics, Philip Chevron of the Pogues, pianist Don Kirkpatrick, pianist Sing Miller, rapper Arabian Prince, rapper CEO, rapper Cody Ryan, Rapper Dice Soho, rapper extraordinaire Mr. Kendrick Lamar, also Drake's best buddy. Kidding. Rapper Crazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Rapper Stitches, rapper Trey Little, saxophonist Vito Musso, singer Chris Montez, singer Francois Hardy, singer Kevin Thornton of Color Me Bad, singer Lee Ryan, singer Paulina Rubio, Singer Simone Battle of GRL. Singer songwriter the legendary Mr. Barry Manilow. Singer songwriter Russell Smith of the Amazing Rhythm Aces and William Hart of the Delphonics. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 17th include composer Orazio Benevoli, who passed away in 1672 at the age of 67. Composer Johann Wagenar passed away in 1941 at the age of 78. Composer Carl Vogler passed away in 1951 at the age of 77. Composer Alberto Williams passed away in 1952 at the age of 89. Composer Walter Neiman passed away in 1953 at the age of 76. Guitarist Danny Cedrone passed away in 1954 at the age of 33. 
Music director Lou Frizzell passed away in 1979 at the age of 59. Composer Peter Menon passed away from cancer in 1983 at the age of 60. Legendary singer Kate Smith passed away in 1986 at the age of 78. Fiddler and singer Dewey Balfa passed away in 1992 at the age of 65. Composer Francisco Escudero passed away in 2002 at the age of 89. Carl Mueller of Soul Asylum passed away from cancer in 2005 at the age of 41. Gospel singer Ronald Winans of the group The Winans passed away in 2005 at the age of 48. Jazz trumpet player Enrique Majewski passed away in 2005 at the age of 69. Composer Julian Slade passed away in 2006 at the age of 76. Classical record producer John McClure passed away in 2014 at the age of 84. And rapper Prince B of the group PM Dawn passed away from complications from diabetes in 2016 at the age of 46. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 18th, when in 1942, Sir Paul McCartney was born. 